annual mashup. I want to thank you on behalf of all of the people that have worked very, very hard to make this a successful event for showing up here tonight. And I especially want to sp thank all the vendors and the, the restaurant people and the people that are serving beer and wine and uh, all the other great food. Let's hear it for them a little. Let's hear it for them. It is, uh, especially the, uh, the music by First Night Evanston, thank you, it was a great... in the city in terms of communication and collaboration from everybody from Northwestern from the university from the city from the school districts from the business community from the nonprofits been great and I think we continue to get up to be a stronger and a more vibrant community and I think this this event is really one of the catalysts to make it happen stage one of the key movers and shakers from the beginning, uh, Mr. Steve Haggerty, who was one of the ch uh, chairs of this event, from Haggerty Consulting. Thank you, Joe. Are you guys having a good time? Yeah. Woo. You guys like the food? Yeah. You guys ever wonder, why am I at the mashup? Yeah. All right. Besides the good food, the reason that we're all here tonight is on your name tag. And if you guys all took one moment and you looked on the back of your name tag, provided by bag tags, which is right here in Evanston, all right, you don't realize you've got a tag right now that's as cool as the tags that your kids have at home attached to their backpacks. All right, but also on this tag are some amazing businesses here in Evanston who love this community as much as all of you do and who stepped up to sponsor this event, to make it possible for us all to be here, having a taste of Evanston, connecting, collaborating, and creating.
So thank you to all the businesses that are part of the mashup. Thank you to everybody that is here that loves Evanston and wants to make a difference not only in this community and in this world. So thank you very much. I'd like to hand it over now. We have some terrific recipients of two really special awards. And I'm going to hand it off to... Drum roll, please. The Passage family to come up and present the Kareen Passage Spirit of Evanston Award. All right, and if there's one moment, two moments, this award and the catalyst to really listen to the folks up here, now's the time. And here we are again. It seems like just yesterday that we were here, my son, my son-in-law and myself, to do this wonderful evening for Evanston in my daughter Corinne Passage's name. She and Patrick started this whole mashup six years ago. Unfortunately, she passed away three years ago. But we are here to represent her, and I know she's looking down on us, and <clears throat> I'm sorry, and is being so proud of the fact that this award goes on to Bob and Patty this evening. It's a wonderful evening. Pa Patrick has done a great job. My son and my son-in-law are, of course, the business people. I'm only the person standing in line, so. And my son always goes, Mom, please don't make it long because you're gonna make the people fall asleep. You know what? When I have a microphone, I'm not gonna quit. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Anyway, this is a great evening. I am so pleased to see so many people to present Evanston. We have been, my husband and I came from Europe and moved into Evanston in 1958. And I was all of 18 years old. We were married in Holland. And we have been in Evanston ever since. And it's been a wonderful, wonderful community. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. Thank you so much, everyone. And I'm going to have my son and my grandson say a few things. I could start singing and that would clear the room, but I don't want to do that. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you so much. My daughter is smiling on us. Thank you. First of all, I'm not Laney's grandson. <laughs> did I say grandson? Yes, you did. I wish I was that young. Um, we met uh, Bob and Patty a few weeks ago, and I'd just like to say a few words about them. Uh, I was pretty amazed at their contributions to Evanston, and it's always amazing how many exceptional people you find in Evanston and, and what they bring to this community. And they have a scholarship foundation uh, that has been very successful for kids who kind of don't know what they're going to do yet and they figure it out very well and they've donated they, they've raised a lot of money for that foundation as well as um bob has been uh, uh instrumental in the fan basketball league here in evanston i think everyone knows what that is so i'm i'm, I'm honored to give this award to you tonight bob and patty and thank you for accepting it thank you Well, unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to meet Bob and Patty at lunch a few weeks ago, but I understand Patrick here has a video all queued up to let us all know uh, what the Reese's are all about. So congratulations to both of you. We look forward uh, to seeing the video. So go ahead, Pat. So if you turn to the corners, please, let's roll the video. Bob and Patty Reese are absolutely the best. Uh, Bob and Patty's work have been incredibly meaningful in this city for a long time, for a long time. Uh, Bob and Patty, the thing that I, I remark about them is not only have they been active participants, but they've been leaders. Bob and Patty Reese are real forces of nature in Evanston. Through their separate and joint contributions, they've done a lot to change the face of our community. Their smiles are effervescent. You cannot cross a room with them quickly because you're going to be stopped by at least a dozen people who are going to be hugging Bob and Patty. I don't think Bob could have done what he did, what he just accomplished without Patty. I think Patty was cognizant of her role in society that she was here to give back. I have been inspired uh, by both he and Patty's uh, leadership and their kindness. When she says something, it means something. 
and that's something that I really value about both of them, and I think separately as well as a couple. Everybody, I think, thinks that Patty is their child. I certainly do. I just think she's mine. Because she's such an adorable person who doesn't make a big splash. She just does the work that she thinks will be beneficial to others. I have been inspired uh, by both he and Patty's uh, leadership and their kindness to so many people throughout our community. Uh, they've been real agents of change and had great impact on Evanston. They've been such a part of this community for so many generations that I can't imagine Evanston without them. They've done a lot to improve the Evanston community, the Cherry Foundation scholarships give many of our young people a chance to go to college which they would not otherwise have. And it's not just they're going to college, but they come back. They come back because Evanston, of course, is a wonderful city on the lake. Perhaps the most moving interviews have been with scholarship recipients that Patty and Bob have been part of the effort to make possible. And there have been tears in those interviews in talking to these young adults and how the trajectory of their lives was totally changed because of people like Bob and Patty, and they've been at the heart of that effort. You look at the impact they've had on the Cherry Scholarship, uh, the YMCA, FAM, Second Baptist, uh, the Chessmen, and the Evanston Community Foundation. Bob and Patty have been incredible leaders. The fate of Evanston children and the level playing ground for all of them, regardless of family background, is something that means a lot to Bob as well as to Patty. But Bob and Patty are so positive they never miss a beat. Bob and Patty Reese, you are the spirits of Evanston. Thank you. I promise I will keep it short. But first of all, thank you, thank you, thank you. Patty and I are extremely grateful to the Korean Passage Selection Committee and Lenny and John and the Evanston Chamber of Commerce, the city of Evanston and Northwestern University for selecting us to receive this prestigious Community Service Award this evening. I know Corinne was very proud of her work, not only in the Everson community, but across the country. She will always be remembered for Pivot Point Cares for Kids program. Thank you, Corinne, for being a beacon of light for all of us to follow. Your commitment, dedication, and tenacity we're second to none. Patty and I want to thank our family and the many organizations and their volunteers that we have been honored to be a part of for so many years. Organizations that have helped make a difference in the lives of the Everston community. These organizations are our FAM, the Fellowship of African American Men, the Warren Billy Cherry Scholarship Fund, named in honor of Patty's brother, Warren Billy Cherry, the McGall YMCA, the Everston Community Foundation, the Chessman Club, and the Justin Wynn Memorial Fund. Martin Luther King Jr. once said, and I quote, if I can help someone along the way, my life would not be in vain. Thank you for helping us to help somebody along the way. Thank you very much. Um, the next award is the Catalyst Award. It's an award that started uh, be giving out five years ago to recognize the per people and organizations in our community that have been catalysts and spurred uh, pr progress in the community. And I am pleased to, uh, today, uh, and the first award was given to President Shapiro and uh, Mayor Tisdall. And last year we gave it to a, a, a group of, I think, five Northwestern professors uh, who are all great recipients. This year I am proud to welcome everybody's friend, 
uh, Vice President for Financial Operations and Treasurer at Northwestern and Treasurer at the um, Evanston Chamber of Commerce. Very proudly. Uh, I'm happy to introduce Ingrid Stafford. Shapiro and Executive Vice President Nim and I, we're so glad to have uh, be part of hosting the mashup again this year. Unfortunately, they weren't able to be here today because they're at a planning retreat that can't be nearly as much fun as this mashup. Next year, they'll have to kind of work on their calendar in order to kind of get that fixed. But we're so pleased to be part of this hosting. Um, we're so pleased to be uh, again kind of involved with the mashup and to recognize all of you who come here and um, help contribute with both your time and talent and all of your businesses and all of your organizations that really make Evanston a great place to live. And we benefit at Northwestern from that because it makes a wonderful place to attract our students, our faculty, and our staff. So thank you for everybody here for making Evanston such a great community for us. We also take very seriously our involvement with the community. And part of that commitment is hosting activities like the MASHA. Part of it also is reflected in our kind of reformulated Office of Neighborhood and Community Relations. And my new colleague, Alan Anderson, who is one of the co-hosts for tonight, is here and it's his commitment and our commitment to this function, which is part, and part of all of our ongoing work here with the city of Evanston. I'm really pleased to be up here with Mayor Tisdall because one of the areas in, the, in honoring kind of our police departments as the winners of the Catalyst Award, we have a mutual commitment to safety and to the, to the, to the um, ongoing kind of protection of our, of our community as well as our, as our students and faculty and staff and all of our citizens as we work together in this city. So I'm glad to welcome Mayor Tisdall and she's going to tell you more about the honorees. Thank you, Ingrid. Okay, everybody, who has the two greatest police departments in the United States of America? We do. People talk about police departments and they ask if they mirror the people in the city, if the demographics are the same. Well, the Evanston Police Department mirrors the Evanston community. The Evanston Police Department does some of the things Bob Reese does. They coach fan basketball teams, they go to ward meetings, they are out in the community making a difference in people's lives. And the Northwestern Police Department works seamlessly with us to keep, with our police to keep us all safe and they free up our police to do more than they could do if they were on their own. So I am thrilled to announce the two Catalyst winners are the Evanston Police Department and the Northwestern Police Department. Because let's be clear, in Evanston we are proud of our police departments. And we have a short video to share with you about our two great police departments. Tech 1 to 10 with a stop, uh, 21 mile right on top of I-94. Tech 1. Tom, David, Henry. The Northwestern University Police Department and the Evanston Police Department has a unique and promising relationship. That partnership handles everything from football game days where we safely get in and out of a residential neighborhood over 40,000 people. Whether that's downtown or in a neighborhood or a special event on campus, a Big Ten football game. Both problem solving teams of NUPD and EPD work towards that neighborhood harmony. We work well together. This is a national model that 
My colleagues, when I go to a conference, we are the envy. They want to know, what are you all doing to make such a positive relationship with the municipal police department, with Evanston Police Department? I'm very satisfied with the work that Evanston Police does in my community, in my neighborhood. Um, they're very visible. I see them on foot, I see them on bike, I see them in all sorts of police vehicles. They're responsive. Anytime that I've had um, a need, which has been a few different occasions, they have handled it very personally and um, expeditiously. And I understand that the service that we have here is a luxury compared to other communities. So I'm satisfied. The combination of a great city, Evanston, and a great university, Northwestern University, provides an opportunity that very few places in this country can brag about. The university and the city do many wonderful things together. So the Catalyst Award has an important role in the city and the university's life because it reminds us to take time out and celebrate the good things we are doing. I'm thrilled uh, to accept this award on behalf of the men and women of the Evanston Police Department who daily go out and service the community and keep the community safe. I'm very honored to receive this award because it recognizes the hard work of the men and women of Northwestern University Police Department in working in partnership with Evanston Police Department. The joint effort between the two police departments really builds a, a stronger community. It really builds a family. I think two police forces are necessary in Evanston because we are a college town. And I imagine that Northwestern, although I have no affiliation, has their own culture, their own crimes, their own needs. And then Evanston being primarily families, um, we have totally different needs. So I think it's appropriate that way the police can um, be more specific about the needs of who they're serving. Um, so I'm excited. Our officers are highly trained, professional, and friendly, and enjoy the opportunity to work with community members to have a collaborative partnership in making our community, making our campus safe for all. And part of that comes with working closely with our colleagues in the Evanston Police Department under the strong leadership of Chief Eddington. The Evanston Police Department is always ready to address the service needs of the community. We want to keep the community safe. We want you to know that we're always available and our highest goal is your safety. The Evanston Police Department and the Northwestern Police Department are the heroes and heroines of our community. They are catalysts for incredibly good things in Evanston and we don't thank them enough so this is a terrific opportunity to thank them. I think one of the things that's a little different about our two wonderful police forces is the way that they work together. And I think that's just an example of the way the great city of Evanston and the wonderful university, Northwestern University, can continue to work together and foster ever closer relations. Good evening, everybody. Thank you very much for this recognition. I appreciate it immensely and want to again accept this on behalf of the men and women of the Evanston Police Department. Uh, this is truly unique to be honored this way 
by a community, especially in this difficult time for American policing. I thank you for this recognition. I want to keep these comments very short because there's way more fun things to do in this tent than listen to me. Thank you again. Good evening, everyone. We're honored, and I thank you for this award. On behalf of the men and women of Northwestern University Police Department, we are honored. This award is in recognition of a collaborative partnership between Evanston Police and Northwestern University Police Department at a time in our nation where we see such a strain between community and police. We enjoy a great relationship founded upon mutual respect and dedication to working hard to build community through the university community and all of Evanston. I accept this award on behalf of the men and women of Northwestern University Police in recognition of the catalyst to providing positive interactions across the city and the university. Thank you very much.